guys, we are at the Helicon Lounge at Blockchain World 2021 in Abu Dhabi. I'm so excited to be joined by Matias Mende. He is a crypto entrepreneur that I'm going to be learning all about. So Matias, thank you for joining me here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So first of all, I feel like you have so many titles. So tell me, what is it? Everything that you do, just give us the, the resume. Well, there are a few things, as you say. I'm focused in all kinds of things, but my main focus these days, I would say, is my own project, which is the bonus market, celebrity brand, and sorry, celebrity brand token launchpad. I'm the founder. But my second main thing is actually advising the CEO of the Dubai Blockchain Center, where we actually are a semi-governmental organization, which we kind of help building the ecosystem and the people with education and also the government to lead them in the right direction. It's very important. And then I would say I'm, yeah, Let's just yeah, stop well, right and you throw cool parties with Akon, so we'll get to that. But okay, let me, yes. let's take it all the way back because I'm kind of curious. I always like to hear people's stories of how they even got into the yeah. space. So let's like fa rewind for a second. You were born in Poland, you grew up in Germany. Right. Tell me a little bit about your backstory and how you ended up in crypto. All right, this would be again another long story, but I've been grown up in Poland. So basically, my parents, they were like German Polish. Okay. So. We had German passports and then when I was two, this was 35 years ago, they decided to go to Germany for a better life for me. So they were actually economical refugees, I would call them, <laughs> because they, you know, in Germany, just on the other border, you make four to five X the money, you know, like four or five hundred percent. So then I grew up in Germany for 20 years. So with 22, I left to Dubai. And since then, 15 years I've been here. In 2016, I got into a Bitcoin transaction. I made my first money. Then I started like, researching more into the white paper of Satoshi Nakamoto for Bitcoin. And I actually figured out that blockchain, that blockchain is the main thing. And that when I learned that it verifies the trust and eliminates trust issues and makes trustless systems for the future possible, I understood that this is the technology which every organization, every government and everybody kind of needs to make life better, fairer and more frictionless. So how did you start building companies in this space? What was your first project? In the beginning, I was more like trading and learning. Okay. But trading more like in terms of this kind of Bitcoin transactions, just to help people out, you know, like telling, okay, this first, this, this. And my friend also had the first legal OTC business, who's actually Dr. Marwan Al Sahuni, the first okay. boss of the Dubai Blockchain Center. Oh, wow. So he, he brought, he made, he, he really helped crypto a lot in this country because back in the day, when people hear crypto and Bitcoin, they think like, yeah. Prime, scam, scam, fraud, yeah. Skill Silk Road, because there were some huge problems. Yeah. So, but it's not like that because the technology itself is the main thing, but it's what the people make out of it. And if they used it for illegal things, it was because at the end, we all know that blockchain and Bitcoin or sending any transactions, it's far more transparent than the bank's transactions yeah, because true. you can see in the ledger exactly the explorer what what comes from where it goes every detail so exactly that's your transparency okay so how did you get to bonus because you hang out with the coolest people you have celebrity parties how did you make that happen well bonus is a long story i mean the thing with me is i come up with a lot of ideas and i love to brainstorm and hang out with smart people talk about their project i've been advising some projects i've been working I've been working very, very deep in the blockchain industry by also building solutions with an enterprise blockchain tech yeah. development and software house. So we built okay. some things for some semi-governmental organization here for the oil industry. So we actually created a token which track GPS coordinates. They don't have financial values because the blockchain technology is to solve problems. It's to verify trust issues. 
So in the industrial or enterprise blockchain world, you might have transporters transporting food and there, there might be a fridge inside and an IoT device which measures the temperature. And now, since they drive to the heat in the desert, 40 degree, imagine if the air condition breaks down for two hours or let's say half day. The whole food might be rotten, but now the IoT device will measure that the temperature fell might like more above 10 percent degree and then instead of the driver not telling automatically it's verified that the contract is broken and then there can be straight the insurance case so you don't need to go to a lawyer make a case it all happens automatically and there are many functions like that there are unlimited functions that's so interesting. Well, I was reading a little bit of the white paper for your bonus, and okay. I want to I want to understand more about it because a lot of people have heard of you know OnlyFans and Patreon and Cameo, and so yeah. this is a way for celebrities to basically access their fans directly and Correct. get paid for it. So yes. t tell me about that. All right, you said some very nice samples. So basically, in bonus, there are multiple use cases. So first of all, every single token which we create for celebrity or brand has a utility which means that there's a real use case. Let's say you are a celebrity and a singer. Now, the fan, let's say I'm the fan, I purchase your token and I can access your private channel, but it's nothing like OnlyFans or something. It's very respectful, nothing X-rated. Got it. So basically, by purchasing the, your token, I have a lifetime access with this Exclusive token. Exclusive content. Not just for content, okay. even if you have a shop, I oh. will be voting on the designs in your shop to make sure they are the best on the top because they are getting created from your community and from the community. Wow. Access to the private channel will allow me to receive content from you, but every content I receive from you is a token, sorry, it's an NFT. So I'm mining NFTs by owning your token. So I'm receiving wow. free NFTs. So you giving me such a big value that I actually am proud to be your fan. Hmm. And because of that, we're adding value to fans, but also to celebrities we add value. Now, you have a new song coming out. Or well, let's let's go back one thing to another value which you add to me. You have a concert, in mm -hmm. two weeks you are a superstar. Now the, top, the, the content, sorry, now the concert will sell out immediately. Because also ticket scalpers come in and buy like 10 or hundreds of mm -hmm. tickets yeah. to sell them on the black market, on yeah. third party provider websites. So now since I'm your super fan and I own one of your limited 100,000 tokens, <laughs> I will have like a kind of priority access Got it. one day before to your concert. Interesting. So you make sure that your biggest fans come. And even there they could check in with the token to get some, they will be wilder. They will make more stories for you, you know? Okay, so. And now the value which happens for you is, now I'm your fan and you say, hey, my, I'm bringing this new song. It's an amazing song. Please guys help me on Spotify. Now your fans will start spreading the message saying, Natalie's new song came out. This is the streamling. And there will be some fans who might do that 500 or thousands of times. And because they're doing it, they're creating a value by every time they're posting it, they use a unique hashtag. And because of this, our analytics system can see that user X posted your song 500 times. Oh, wow. So there's a loyalty yeah. index. And now you can reward this person after one month, say, give a shout out to the 10 hardest people working. And so this is really all about forming and rewarding a community. Absolutely. Totally. Got it. Well, so tell us a little bit about, you had a party a couple days ago. There was F1 here yeah. in Abu Dhabi. It looked like an incredible party and you launched Acoin, Acon's coin? Um, not exactly. Acon was one of our guests at Group of Fusion. This is the event we just invented, me and Ivan Klassen and Bali Singh three weeks ago. And Proof of Fusion has to bring the sports world with the entertainment world and the crypto blockchain world together. So Aiken was one of our main guests, Sasha Jaffrey, because all those people who like to make disruption and are living mm -hmm. for impact. Yeah. They want to fix the world and Aiken has the 
target to fix Africa with Acoin, which will have multiple utilities, which could be a payment tool in some of the countries. They're building a lot of things. And even besides that, if you use the new play to earn models, like all these games, yeah. where people just need an internet connection and they just need a device and they can participate in something which creates value, they actually have a job. And in these poor countries, even if you make $2 a day, or one dollar you can have an incredible life and food right because they are so poor sometimes that they don't have even the right. basics and that's why i hope that with all this technology and also those things presented on this conference there will be actually some serious disruption costs because i believe that the world can be fixed and in proof of fusion we had people from the whole world coming yeah. funds tim drapa funds there are Draper Holmes, you know Tim Draper, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, all our He's a partners. big Bitcoin guy. We have, uh, what? We had so many people. Like, like I could mention so many names. Okay. Well, to wrap this up, tell me a little bit about where you see the future going in this space, because clearly you have eyes wide open. You believe that tokens and online communities that are driven by this sort of content and and building on the blockchain is going to be the future, right? Absolutely. So you're asking me where the future is going? Yeah, where are we going? Tell me what five, ten years from now look like. It's going to be insane. In good ways, but also in dangerous ways. I believe that the metaverse will bring a whole new industrial revolution. The same way like we had the type mm -hmm. of revolutions, I think the metaverse will be a huge revolution because when we get to the point and that's when it gets dangerous that something like the what's the name of this chip of elon musk yeah yeah well, so New, basically neural artificial link. intelligence yeah, yeah. the neural link yeah one day it will because our eyes they are like a camera right mm -hmm. like a lens in the phone and the signal comes to the brain basically now imagine the neural link will intercept the signal and put the own picture which will allow us to be instantly in the metaverse to be on any planet to fight against dragons with our friends in video wow. games to just it's 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 dangerous you know yeah. so this might be cool use cases there might be amazing use cases for education teaching this is something what bonus does also we clone celebrities and make them become teachers in the metaverse because from 50 cent or aiken some kids they would rather learn mathematics and history classes than from a boring teacher in school because all what we do is we take the voice we calibrate it and then we really take the, yeah absolutely and, and then do you have to pay them paste. for that you have to like pay for their likeness right you have to pay for their voice well this is something what they sign when they come on bonus My wow that's fascinating 28 pages so i i can get taught by my favorite celebrity yeah. in the future yes that'd be pretty cool absolutely not sure. just thought you could have them <laughs> sitting when you for your kids or somebody and give him a bad night story wow and if the kid would not like him it would <laughs> swap and it's a pokemon <laughs> or it's it's crazy that's why it's like the future it's yeah. limitless really anything yeah. thinkable what makes sense could be successful as soon as a system built on top which allows participants to use it like an incredible app or something easy and that's where web3 and all this stuff comes in but it needs to be more simple you know it's way too complicated yeah I, it's going to be so interesting to see all of this develop we're watching history unfold in the digital world so thank you so much matthias for joining me you're in the helicon lounge at blockchain world dcs 2021 i'm natalie grunell thanks for watching thank you